Good morning. morning from Moldau. It is an absolutely beautiful day out. It's about 10 o'clock and we've just had breakfast and a couple of coffees because we're too addicted by this point. And we have heard that there is a beach from which you can go snorkeling and see sardines and turtles and all sorts of other marine life. So that's going to be the bulk of what we're going to be doing today. We've made it down to Panaxima Beach and this is where we were told to come to snorkel with the sardines and turtles. I think what we're going to see is called a sardine run because it's not like it's just singular sardines. They somehow like form a ball, I think, and there's maybe hundreds or thousands of them. So I'm excited to see what that's about. We have rented masks and snorkels. We negotiated to rent two of them for 100 pesos, which is $2.50. They did start at 100 each, but fortunately, Momo from our guest house was like, no, no, tell them 50 each. So that was some really good advice.
that was so sick. I think this has been my favorite snorkeling experience because especially with that turtle, we literally got to swim with it by ourselves for a good five to 10 minutes. We just followed wherever it went and kept a respectful distance and just got to marvel at its graceful, like fluttering and majestic motions and see how spotted it was and everything. That was so cool. The best $2.50 we've spent on masks. A hundred percent. Like even though like, my mask was malfunctioning a little bit, like the seal wouldn't quite work. But even despite that, then seeing the sardines so close to the shore, like that was crazy. Because essentially you only have maybe about 50 or so meters before there's just a big drop off from the reef. And literally just from the drop off, you can see clear as day, just all the sardines there. That then just goes on for hundreds of meters which is crazy and then as soon as we spot the turtle that was just such a serene experience just watching it glide through the water searching for food and like definitely it acknowledged us but it wasn't freaked out and just kind of let us swim with it watching it doing its thing amazing absolutely transcendental experience when you think of a snorkeling trip or a diving trip that's exactly the sort of experience that you want to have and i just feel so honored to even been able to do that that was awesome and it was nice that we got to do it at our own pace and spend as long as we wanted with the turtle or as long as we wanted watching the sardines there was no schedule like if you were on a tour so staying so close to Panexima beach is ideal because then all you have to do is like rent a mask and snorkel and you can do this as regularly as you want or just do it once and stay as long as you want. It's super flexible. Yeah, definitely a fantastic idea. And I'm super happy that we came here to do this. I think another thing we might as well address while we're on the whole like snorkeling diving topic is a lot of people come to Cebu and go to Oslob to dive with whale sharks, but we have specifically chosen not to do that because they are feeding the whale sharks there. Whereas you can also do this experience in a part of the Philippines called Don Sol, but it's not the right season to do it, which is why we're not going there either because we just don't think it's the right thing to do to be supporting an activity where they are interfering in the natural migration pattern or something that could potentially harm them because they are now relying on humans for food. And also just purely from a cost perspective, like if you went to Donsol and you went on one of these whale shark excursions, then there's no guarantee that you will get to see a whale shark, especially if it's out of season, but they still will accept the money anyway because they have to have the money in order to run these tours in the first place. So it's very possible that you might spend all this money and see nothing. So purely from a cost perspective, we were trying to make sure that we can guarantee to see whale sharks in their natural environment without screwing up kind of the natural order of things. But it's just not the right time of the year for that. So we're going to skip the activity entirely, which will mean we'll have to come back to the Philippines or just go somewhere else in the world where it is in season and they're not feeding them. How horrible. But we just wanted to address that because a lot of people probably are like, well, while you're in Cebu, why didn't you go to Oslob? And that's the reason why. Exactly. Okay, onwards with our day. It's crazy how hungry you get from swimming and snorkeling. Like it actually burns a lot of calories. I think we were out there for an hour and I burned 240 calories or something. So we were pretty hungry and we decided to go for lunch at JJ's place. In the interest of full disclosure, we did go there last night for dinner. Just like usual, we found a place that is absolutely delicious, serves local food 
and is probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest places in town. So I think we'll be going back there quite regularly because the owner is also super nice and has topped up a bunch of their dishes. She's an excellent saleswoman, but honestly, like the food has lived up to the hype. Anyway, we went there for lunch. It was amazing. And we are now walking back to our hostel. After an afternoon of editing, researching, and also catching up with the family, it's now time to head out to dinner. We're walking back to our hostel after yet another delicious meal at JJ's place. The plan is to watch some Cougar Town and relax the rest of the evening. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>